Hangzhou is a city famous for its history. This is the Kuahu Chao historical site in Xiaoshan District. 8,000 years ago, this area was home to farming settlements, and it was the place where the world's first canoe was discovered. Later, the growth of Liangzhu and Wu Yue cultures took place here, which ensured Hangzhou's current prosperity. Hangzhou is famous because of West Lake. From the beginning of time, fascinating changes have shaped the Earth. Eons ago, intense movement in the Earth's crust gave rise to low-lying lagoons in this region. However, it was not until 2,000 years ago that an official in the Eastern Han Dynasty named Hua Xin built a dam along the coast and gave West Lake its basic shape. Now, thanks to generations of construction, West Lake has become an international tourist attraction celebrated for its natural and cultural landscapes. In 1138, Hangzhou became the new capital of the Southern Song Dynasty. People and trade poured in from all directions, bringing various dialects with them. According to historian Li Xinchuan, in the early Southern Song Dynasty, the number of new settlers had surpassed that of local residents. Hangzhou acted as a meeting point between the North and the South, a tradition that is still alive today. By the late Southern Song Dynasty, Hangzhou had a population of 1.24 million and was a lively international city. By comparison, Venice, the then most prosperous city in the West, had only about 100,000 residents. As pointed out by Rhodes Murphy in East Asia, A New History, it is an age full of confidence and innovation. In the subsequent Yuan, Ming and Qing dynasties, Hangzhou had remained the major source of revenues in Southeast China. The prosperity and vitality of Hangzhou was most prominent in the painting of the Qianlong Emperor's Southern Inspection Tour by court painter Xu Yang during the Emperor's first trip to the South. In 1792, Earl McCartney led a British delegation to China. When stopping in Hangzhou, he wrote in his notes, Hangzhou is a commercial center that connects northern and southern provinces. Many of its stores and warehouses are comparable in scale to London. In the 13th century, Italian traveler Marco Polo had commended Hangzhou as the most beautiful and luxurious city in the world. Like a beautiful butterfly emerging from its cocoon, Hangzhou transformed from a small county into a metropolis reputed as heaven on earth. The effortless affluence and elegance of the city makes it seem as if it was created by heaven. Hangzhou is a poetic and picturesque city. The Westlake cultural landscape is UNESCO World Heritage Site. A trip around the lake is about 15 kilometers long, includes the charm of natural scenery and cultural relics. Famous writers in China's history, such as Su Dongpo and Bai Juyi, wrote enchanting poems praising Westlake's beauty. Lin Hejing, a well-known recluse in the Song Dynasty, and Li Shutong, a renowned artist in modern times, used to live in seclusion by West Lake, an ideal place to write poetry. West Lake is one of Hangzhou's many gems. This is the beautiful Fuchun River, where Huang Gongwang, a painter from the Yuan Dynasty, created the classic piece dwelling in the Fuchun Mountains. 
Hangzhou is at the southern terminus of the Grand Canal. 大家好，很高兴您能够看到这个视频。我是在家利用网络带团队创业的网商教练，厂家直销的网购商城，十几万块的商品，别人购物你就直接从中提成，没有投资，没有风险，不用开店存货，在家兼职全职都可以。转发分享就秒接到账。我的网商团队是目前互联网在家创业的最佳平台，也是最棒的创业系统。我带领了一批又一批的学生和普通的网民，一年之内过上了有钱有闲的生活。一般第一个月就月收入过万，做一年月收入至少是六位数以上，时间越长收入就越高。反正分享就秒接到账，转发分享就秒接到账。现在我也可以把我所学的传授给你，然后你也可以取得成功，实现你的梦想。这个机会就属于你的了。所以第一件事情就加上我的联系方式，我。我的 QQ 是三二六六九九七五二三，我的微信是幺八三五零四八五六三三。一分钟之后，我们再见。Another UNESCO World Heritage Site, the Xixi Wetlands, yet another tourist attraction, were hailed by the Ramsar Convention as a perfect demonstration of harmonious coexistence between man and nature. There is also the peaceful Lingyin Temple, the vast expanses of Tiandao Lake, and the steep Tianmen Mountain, making Hangzhou a most ideal destination for a spiritual retreat. Hangzhou is a city offering a high-quality lifestyle. Westlake Longjing Tea is one of China's top four teas. In tea gardens like Longjing Village and Meijia Wu, girls can be seen picking tea in the morning mist, as well as tea frying masters using their hands, rough from hard work, to stir tea leaves in a hot iron pan with a temperature of hundreds of degrees, filling the air with the aroma of tea. When steeped, the tea leaves blossom like flowers, and the fragrance of the infusion makes everyone carefree. Hangzhou boasts a long list of mouth-watering local cuisine: Westlake fish in vinegar gravy, Dongpo pork, and Longjing shrimp, all of which have an extensive reputation and equally savory stories. On the bank of West Lake, there are benches especially for couples. This is just one example of how meticulously this city cares about its people, and this is why Hangzhou was named one of the most livable cities in the world, attracting newcomers from afar. Been living in Hangzhou for more than three years now, and、um, I really call it my my second home. Hangzhou is a city of love. It was the location of the tragic story of the butterfly lovers, which is the Oriental version of Romeo and Juliet. The lovers Liang Shanbo and Zhu Yingtai fell in love while attending school by West Lake, but were unable to get married due to their parents' objection. In the end, the heartbroken lovers turned into a pair of butterflies and stayed together forever. Their devotion to love has touched many a soul. The Legend of the White Snake. Another famous folk tale also took place in Hangzhou. The broken bridge on West Lake was where the White Maiden met Xu Xian and began a tragic romance between a human and a snake, bearing witness to all the joy and sorrow 
Westlake thus became a lake of love. Aside from romance, Hangzhou is also overflowing with kindness and warmth. The Fanghui Chuntang Pharmacy, already over 300 years old, constantly keeps a big teapot outside its gate, offering free herbal drinks according to the season. During the Laba Festival every year, it serves sweet Laba porridge free of charge, warming up both the stomachs and hearts of those who eat it. In Hangzhou, a citizen named Wu Juping caught a girl falling out of a building in her hands. She injured herself yet won the title of most beautiful mother. A scrap collector, Wei Sihao, donated money to many impoverished students. Shen Ting Twin has continued to serve community seniors for 27 years. A bus driver, Kong Shangdong, has offered free bicycle repairs for 25 years. An owner of a noodle restaurant, Zhang Changliang, has provided free breakfast to sanitation workers for several decades. The beautiful hearts of these and many other people create Hangzhou's warmth. Hangzhou is also a city of innovation and vitality. Hangzhou's spirit is exemplified by the story of King Tian shooting the god of tides. Legend has it that over 1,000 years ago, the raging tide waters of the Tiantang River threatened the safety of Hangzhou. King Tian Liu, the then leader of Hangzhou, led archers to shoot the god of tides from the riverbank. He fought off the tides and the dam was since reinforced. This story is merely folklore. King Tian Liu had actually led a team to build the dams and ward off natural disasters. The bravery to defy difficulties and confront challenges head-on has been ingrained into the character of those who live in Hangzhou. It's a spirit running in their blood, like the surging waves of the Tiantang River. Hangzhou has a large population but a limited amount of land. The scarcity of resources, along with the accompanying difficulties, has not prevented the growth of the city. Instead, it has drawn out the daring and innovative spirits of Hangzhou's citizens. Since ancient times, Hangzhou has bred numerous innovative talents, such as Shen Kuo, writer of the monumental science-themed book Meng Xi Bi Tan, and Li Zhe Zhao, China's earliest translator of books on math and science from the West. The city is now overflowing with an even stronger wave of innovation. It is the birthplace of the company Alibaba and the home of branch offices of many well-known companies such as NetEase. Hangzhou's Binjiang New District, one of China's three models for crowd innovation, has developed a complete industrial chain for network information technology and created an intellectual economy industry worth hundreds of billions of yuan. Hangzhou, the town of dreams, has attracted tens of thousands of young people aspiring to be innovators and entrepreneurs. A smart city that has led to innovation and things that make that city greener, more efficient, more high-tech, more involved in uh, growth, and that is uh, Hangzhou has fostered that activity. Standing on the Changhuang Pavilion, a panoramic view of the city can be seen. For thousands of years, the spirit of innovation has profoundly transformed this land and has become the lifeline of the city's tremendous vitality and tenacity. Hangzhou is an open and inclusive city. The abundance of water in Hangzhou has nourished the gentle dispositions of its people. Citizens of Hangzhou demonstrate the refined and cultivated qualities of those with noble character, which are highly valued by the Chinese people.
they embraced the world with an open mind and welcomed civilizations from all corners of the world as well as people of different colors with utmost friendliness. John Layton Stewart, born in Hangzhou, was a former U.S. ambassador to China and founder of Yanqing University. After his death, he was buried in the Anxian Cemetery of Hangzhou. His former residence in Hangzhou has been kept in good shape as a memorial. Over 100 years ago, Hu Xueyan, a successful merchant in Hangzhou, had a famous metaphor for doing business. He said that one should hold up an umbrella for others and then they will do the same for you. I think traditional culture in China uh, entails um, a respect for other people, uh, a, uh, an emphasis on what other people want, on, uh, on cooperation. Entrepreneurs in Hangzhou have now come up with an altruistic business philosophy in a business world that seems fraught with life and death battles and zero-sum games, people in Hangzhou have discovered a way to maintain both virtues and profits and an answer for mutual benefits and mutually beneficial outcomes. This is a belief that has been in practice for ages. Uh, these are all values which are, which are useful in the, in the modern world, even though they're, they're, they're very old. of the G20 Summit in 2016. Hangzhou will welcome the world in an open, transparent and inclusive manner. By the beautiful West Lake, our hospitable people have prepared the best Longjing tea in anticipation of your arrival. Come and embrace the future with us.